Hi, my name is Leela Nordman, and I am the Education Director at the Old Stonehouse Museum. It is my pleasure to introduce Rajni Eddins to perform um, some of his work with us today. His latest work is called Their Names Are Mine, which aims to confront white supremacy while emphasizing our need to affirm our hum mutual humanity. Um, so thank you so much again for joining us today, Rajni, um, during our celebration of Alexander Twilight um, on his birthday here, um, turning 225 years old. So I will go ahead and turn, turn it over to you to do a little introduction for yourself. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here with you, Layla, and such a, an August occasion in terms of honoring Alexander Twilight. And I think it's so important to expand the narrative of our history here and recognizing that Black people's history are the missing pages of American history and world history. So I'm definitely thankful to be here uh, towards that end. I'm going to be sharing two pieces today from a work of mine I recently published that you spoke of called Their Names Are Mine. Um, I've been actively utilizing this text to hold space for uh, conversations about the social construct of race and the need for affirmation of mutual humanity and uh, appreciation and reverence for human dignity. So this first piece is actually called Middle Passage and dedicated to those ancestors who passed and who survived. Um, during the transatlantic slave trade that brought many Africans here to this hemisphere. Um, although it's important to note that Africans had traveled the world prior to this, but more recently were given to perceive African descendants experience through this lens of, of, of slavery. So I, I speak to the need to affirm our worth as human beings from Africa to the present. And so Middle Passage, is, uh, is another poem that's speaking that same vein. Uh, my mother often says that uh, we are the survivors of the survivors because you know, it took quite a deal of resilience, human spirit, our wives to endure the journey here to the Americas and to withstand the subsequent hardship and challenges and travails of, of enslavement here in, in this, uh, this nation. So this is in honor of our ancestors. It's called Middle Passage. <clears throat> there should be oceans of tears there should be oceans of tears this ink is not my blood what right have i to speak what right have i to speak think my words the salty oblivion to swallow this globe submerging continents mother's one perfect tear for her children there were children in that dark cramped space giving birth in fetal position to stillborn cosmos, tiny infants with mayhem as midwife, below deck, below death, below breath was hope, hidden in heartbeat rhythm. And now sometimes I see our children are below deck, crammed in into small cramped space, but the wooden planks are blocks and stoops and streets. But our heart beating hope tells me we don't have to live that metaphor, for we are the lineage of stars and sun. Look at the sky and see your reflection. Forgetfulness will have us think the oceans dreamt them. But galaxies do litter the sea floor. No one can ever take away our before. They sunk so that we saw. They hung so that we saw. They sunk and sung with tears in their lungs so that we saw. This is not a metaphor. This is not a metaphor. This ain't no metaphor. Middle past. I think that's an important piece to me also um, because under the circumstances I, I had written it, um, I was asked to write it specifically for an event called the Ma'afa, which is a time to remember the, the great trauma or the great calamity of the transatlantic slave trade. And I remember as a child, I'd always wanted to write something to honor those ancestors and what they had endured, but I, I just never felt uh, like I had the right words, like I would do it justice because it, it seemed like such a a very sacred thing and I wanted to do it well. But when I was asked, I took that opportunity to say, oh, okay, this must be a sign that it's time. So I'm so glad that um, we're taking this time to honor Alexander Twilight and honor African descendants' contributions to Vermont and to America. It seems like a really ripe in time for this, uh, this affirmation. So I'd like to share one more piece. Uh, it's my contribution to this event. 
And this one is actually called Blackness. I wrote this probably um, shortly after my 18th birthday. I was working as um, an instructional aide in the kindergarten class at an elementary school called TT Minor back home in Seattle, Washington, where I'm from. And uh, I remember there was a, a black girl uh, who told me that she'd rather have blonde hair than her own hair. So I, I think many times because of the, the way that different images are pushed at us as, as having Eurocentric concepts of beauty and um, white ideals be the normalized and idealized perception of what human is, it, it, it impacts people really negatively. And I, and I think it's so important to appreciate the beautiful, unique thumbprint that each person is, that everybody has something beautiful and, and that's worthy of honor and dignity about them. So when I, when I heard, learned that, I was really struck and I wanted to write something to speak to that experience and to uh, encourage Black children in particular and all children to rejoice and embrace themselves um, as we all have. So this is called Blackness. <clears throat> who am I? When you see me, who do you see? Who am I? When you see me, what do you see? Misshapen perceptions of Blackness. Dance, the speed of obsidian. Rhythmless oblivion. Mockingly grotesque. Malformed concept of a molasses mammy and her tall babies dancing gaily. Nooses strings sing the melody. Black breath can't scream when bodies swing. Days be just like minstrels dancing a jig to their feet so burning white, blistering hot that blood flow from their souls like the birth nobody knows. It ain't minstrel, but it streams drums such a pretty tune. Drip drops so sweetly white it shamed the moon. Now the sound be white, but the blood be black. Flow flood the mud to the desert smack. Its lips, black hips, and backs do sweat. Life stretched to give death with its breath. Trim, chop, breath, stop. Trim, chop, breath, stop. And you are not, sh you ain't here, ha. Here, pop, the black blood blot splash to the spike being a blight water, snow white desert appetite hatching this halo. Unholy spectrum of a sambo rainbow. Take a swig of my nigger swagger. Clay flesh black and blacker than sin, dark skin. It'll get you tipsy, topsy. Flip the corner off to be Rajni and you'll stare down the well of my memory. Watching the ethos bubble in a frenzy. Eddies, echoes, the evil villain with the heart of black. Emerge from the darkness, heartless black. Boy, devoid, soil, dirty, stupid, ugly. It was it it hip hop. This is bloody ground. You smell the coppery cloying scent. Soil black is my royal tent. Hip hop. I am a living urn. The ashes of my ancestors are my innards. Hip hop. When I am nigh and I hold the stars, I thank you for this black flesh that surrounds my being. Nappy child, self exile, treasure the flesh that you're blessed in. When I am nigh and I hold the stars, I thank you for this black flesh that surrounds my being. Nappy child, self exile, treasure the flesh that you're blessed in. Thank you so much for your heart, heartfelt words and um, the work, this personal work that you shared with us today. I think this is a really wonderful way to celebrate Alexander Twilight 